Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video we are going to solve a multiple choice question on polynomials. If alpha and beta are the zeros of the polynomial f of x equal to px square minus 2x plus 3p and alpha plus beta alpha plus beta is the sum of the zeros is equal to alpha beta that is the product of the zeros then what is the value of so let us start solving this by writing the general form of the quadratic equation first. So it is given as ax square plus bx plus c where a, b, c are the coefficients of the given quadratic expression. Now let us write the sum of the zeros in terms of alpha, beta and in terms of the coefficients of x. So sum of zeros is alpha plus beta which is equal to in terms of coefficients of x we write it as minus coefficient of x which is b in this case over coefficient of x square which is a. Now let us write down the product of the zeros. So in terms of zeros it is written as alpha times beta and in terms of coefficient it is written as the constant divided by the coefficient of x square which is a. Now in this given example let us find out what is our a, b and c. Now by comparison if we compare the given equation px square minus 2x and plus 3p we can see that in place of a we have p. So let us write down a is equal to Similarly, let us compare the b that is the coefficient of x with the coefficient of x in the given expression. So we have b is equal to negative 2. Take it along with the sign. Similarly, by comparison, we can find out the c. So the constant c is given as 3p. So we will take c is equal to 3p. So let us substitute the values of a, b, c in the sum of zeros and product of the zeros. So over here we have negative and b we have it as negative 2. So let us take it as negative 2 over the value of a we have got it as p. So this becomes negative of negative 2 is positive 2. So positive 2 over p. And here the c is given as 3p. So let us take it as 3p divided by a is again p. So p and p they will divide each other p1 times and p1 times and we have only 3. Now according to the given expression the sum of the zeros is equal to product of the zeros. So the sum of the zeros we have it as 2 over p. So let us equate it equal to the product of the zeros. So product is 3 which we have got over here. So let us write it equal to 3. Now by cross multiplication p goes to the place of 3 and 3 comes to the place of p. So we get here p is equal to 2 over 3. So this is the value of p. So let us see if it is in the options. So yes it is our option b. I hope you have understood all the steps and like the video. If you know any other way of solving this example do comment below. And if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.